Hello and welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm your host, Nick Vole. For the next half hour, we're going to show you movies made by students in Vancouver Public Schools. As part of the district's career and technical education programs, every high school, most middle schools, and even some elementary schools offer video production. The idea is to teach kids how to better communicate and how to organize and manage complex projects. They're learning how the technology behind film and news works, and also how to write and tell stories. We're at Columbia River High School in teacher Janine Blackwell's studio. She had her students use the Kuleshov effect. It's a technique pioneered by a Russian filmmaker in the early 1900s. Basically, you're going to see each movie twice. What the students did was they changed one pivotal scene at the beginning and or middle of the movie, which completely changed the tone and spirit of the movie. And you'll see what I mean when we watch this first film. Well, did you see it? They changed one scene in that movie, the hand gesture by the man in the truck, and it completely changed the tone of the film. And now I am joined by the filmmakers. Guys, uh, thank you for being with us today. Um, so, kind of, could one of you explain the Kuleshov effect? It's kind of a neat principle. Anybody want to? Um, I'll explain it. Uh, the Kuleshov effect is where you change one, uh, one scene or one shot of a film. In, in the film, and from that, you change the entire outcome of the movie. So, exactly what you said. His hand gesture changed from the two films, and it completely changed the outcome. Mm -hmm. Who, whose idea was it? Who wrote the story for this, or how did that come about? Nick did. I did. How, what was the idea? Where'd you get it from? Um, I just sort of, I saw um, video, or people's Kusov effects, and, um, I, I sort of noticed that it was the same story, just changed a few shots, so I just thought of some simple, and they're usually really simple um, movies, so I just thought of simple concepts, so I thought of a guy walking, and then have it be a good walk and a bad walk, and how I could change that. One of the things I liked about it was it changed it from being kind of like, not necessarily a drama, but it's more of a straightforward movie into kind of a comedy almost yeah. because your reaction is still like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat how just one shot changed what the whole movie was. Yeah. Um, how challenging was it to sort of tell that story, like to, to shoot that? I mean, how, how did that? 
Well, at first we edited it, so it was kind of just a goofy, funny movie. And then our teacher said it could actually go somewhere. So we edited it, edited out the funny, random stuff, and then we just had the handshake and the hand gesture, and it seemed to work. How long did it take you to make this film? Mm, it, afternoon. Yeah, it was about an afternoon of filming, and then uh, a little bit of editing, a couple hours, but uh, not not too long. Mm -hmm. It was okay. All right, well, thanks, guys. I really appreciate taking the time to talk to us, and good job Thank on your you. movie. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, hey, let's uh, take a look at some more cool shop effect movies from here at Columbia River High School.
Action, just look over the papers. Action, just look over the papers. Our next film was made by a student at Vancouver School of Arts and Academics and it also uses kind of a neat technique. It's called a tilt shift and what it does is it makes real life objects look like they're actually models or miniatures. Check it out. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, donc il y a le Canada, bienvenue à bord du train 60 de destination Montréal. Le train qui s'arrêtera à Gilwood, Oshawa, Cobo, Belleville, Kingston, Rockville, Cornwall, Delaware et Montréal. À la base, votre sécurité de vous familiariser avec les conseils d'urgence que par votre voiture en les ayant les pieds dans la prochaine situation. Je m'envoie à Rimouski, 
la houle Fleur et large Pas toujours Pas toujours That was pretty awesome. That was made by Noel Weiner, senior at Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. Uh, the key to doing a tilt shift like he did is basically they blur the top and bottom edges of the frame to make the object in the center in focus. So a good way to replicate this yourself right now is to stick out your thumb. Look at your thumb. Everything around my thumb here is blurry, but my thumb is in focus. And that's sort of what we're trying to replicate with that. And Noah did a really nice job of doing that, so kudos to you. If you'd like to see more student films, our Young Filmmakers Project archive is fully available on YouTube. Just head to youtube.com slash vansdtv. Once you're there, scroll down to find the Young Filmmakers Project category. We're just about out of time. I want to thank you for watching. And I also want to thank the young filmmakers who gave us their movies and let us show off their work. For the Young Filmmakers Project, I'm Nick Vol. We'll see you next time.